Everybody thinks that, that global warming sort of falls off our to-do list because we've got to deal with things right now, you know, the, the debt, the deficit, the, you know, the fact that I can't make my mortgage. But what people need to realize is all those things are only going to get worse. Everything's changing, the world is changing, and it's all because of global warming, I think. Not too long from now, it will be 10 billion people, and that means that many more people will be driving cars, that many more people will be turning on the electricity. And so we have a battle ahead, but it is doable and I think that we can win it. It's important to me because I'm a father of five, frankly, you know, and it's important for me to have hope because that's my job as a parent, to have hope uh, for my kids, that we're not gonna leave them, you know, in a, in a world that's a, that's a shambles, that's a chaotic place, that's a dangerous place. During the time I was in office, we have seen the beginning of the elimination of the fire scene completely and just having fires all year round. I think that we have seen the major problem of destruction of land and of property and lives. That is a major problem because we don't have the resources for that many fires and also we don't, don't have the resources and the manpower to fight those fires throughout the year. I'd been looking for a way to tell this kind of story and to use what I could do as a filmmaker to help with with awareness and with solutions. When David and Joel came to me with this, even though the idea was still forming at the time, I thought, this is exactly the kind of team I need to be working with. I mean, with such a great pedigree and their approach to it and their ability to do hard-hitting investigative journalism, I thought, wow, we could be a great team. The big key is what the producers do, putting it together and getting it out there, and then keeping it going so it doesn't go away. This will make it live and this will be instructive for people and give them a way to get involved. Avatar was a, an environmental film and uh, you know I got some resistance about whether we should make that movie and then it went out and became the highest grossing film in history. So I think everybody's kind of, it's, it's, it's upset the apple cart of, of uh, common knowledge or received wisdom on, on uh, the marketability of environmental themes. We're not going to come at people saying that, that, that this is, you know, this is the environment. This is about stuff that's going to happen to you, stuff that's going to happen to this nation, stuff that's going to happen to your, to your children. <laughs>